Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you a preview of the Aldor Dread Arena. Here we go. Aldor is an upcoming free-to-play Web3 MMORPG set in a fantasy universe where players can explore a vast open world, take on epic quests, fight in large-scale PvP battles, and thrive in a truly player-driven economy. The Empire's rule has been shattered, and now three factions are in a fight for dominance as players battle for territory while the evil Dread King assembles an army of the dead to lay waste to the lands. You'll get enhanced ownership of your assets with the ability to sell, trade, or send to other players as you see fit. You can also fight endless waves of enemies to climb the leaderboard in the Dread Arena, which is what we're going to talk about today. All right, so here we go today on the Dread Arena. So this game was made in the Unreal Engine 5. As you can see, it looks really good. The graphics are awesome. Everything is very smooth. This is a, it's kind of like a Soulsborne game is what it feels like to me. And so in the Dread Arena here, you start off with just your sword and uh, in the top left, you can see what wave you're on and how many skeletons you've killed along with your health and your stamina in the Bottom right, you can see what weapon you currently have. Bottom left is your elixirs for healing and how many you have. And then uh, the bottom row is for your skills as you unlock them. So after you beat each round like this, you're gonna have the choice of choosing a new stat or upgrade. 30% uh, health is great. You're gonna want the big upgrades for later on because these guys do hit hard and they will smack you down. And then um, after you beat each round, uh, yeah, you get an upgrade, which includes anything from stamina upgrades, health, uh, new weapons, new skills, or a set of elixirs. So what I'm going to do is go through first is the weapons here. Um, the last one right now is the katana, so you start with the sword, and then you can upgrade to the sword and shield, and then you get the halberd, and then you get the katana. Personally, I like the halberd the most for the length that it has, but uh, the katana is a lot faster if that's what you're all about. So we're going to give you a demo of all of these weapons here. So the first weapon upgrade you can take is the shield, which <clears throat> it's the, pretty much the same weapon as the sword. What the shield does is it allows you to defend with, uh, and it takes less stamina than when you just have your sword to defend. But for these guys at the beginning, they're pretty easy. You don't really need to defend against them. You can just still use your sword to smash them up. All right, the next weapon we have here is the Halberd, which is a long range weapon, much longer than the sword and the shield. It's just you have to use more stamina to defend again because you don't have the shield, but still, the range on this thing is much more than that other sword. And finally we have here the katana, which like I said before is the fastest weapon you will find, but doesn't have the range. But you can get a couple quick jabs in and get out if you're better at that. I prefer the distance because it helps me uh, stay away further. Alright, so that's it for weapons here in the alpha. Now we're going to move on to some of the abilities that are in the game here. Uh, like I said before, as you choose your abilities, they will show up in the hotbar located at the bottom with the keys bound to them. And so uh, I'm going to show you a bunch of the skills that I found here in the alpha, starting here with Clean Sweep. So Clean Sweep is a good one to take out uh, a few guys in front of you when you've got a crowd. Use Clean Sweep to take out all the ones in the front row. Next we are going to show Swift Stab, which is a great straight line attack. So if you've got guys in a straight line in front of you, give one good Swift Stab to take out everything in front. Next up we have Hammer Slash, which is another great straight line attack. So again, guys straight in front of you, use Hammer Slash to take them all out in a row. Now we're going to show the lethal bow, which gives you a bow to use ranged attacks. You can see five arrows in the bottom right corner. This allows you to hit enemies from a distance and not have to be up close. And here we've got airstrike, which is another good single target attack. As you'll see, we're going to go up to this guy over here and give him a good quick airstrike. 
Uh, lastly for this video is my favorite whirlwind. If you have a lot of guys in front of you, view, this is a perfect AoE attack to clear everything out. One guard whirlwind and you're good to go. And that is my overview of the Aldor Dread Arena. Uh, comment down below if you'd like to try this. I've got a few more alpha keys to give away. I'll pick some of you that want to try it. And let me know what you thought of the video and what you think of the game. Peace out.